Okay, so I'm just going to say it. You don't need to join your computers to your domain to access on-premise resources. I'm a solution architect at CDW, and I say that a lot. Probably once a week, maybe more. And the reason is that it's just not common knowledge that it's not a requirement to be a member of your on-premise domain to access resources within that domain. And uh, that causes a problem for organizations who are looking to move to the cloud, because the cloud doesn't include your on-premise domain, it's the cloud, it's Azure AD, only devices, that kind of thing. And so when organizations are trying to work out whether they can join their computers to Azure AD only, and still access their on-premise resources, they often make the wrong decision based on the misunderstanding that they need to be joined to their on-premise domain to access on-premise resources, things like file shares and printers. You don't need to join your computers to your on-premise domain to access on-premise resources like file shares. If you're listening to me say that, and you're thinking, I know that, you're not telling me anything new there, I fully understand that I don't need to join my computers to my on-premise domain to access resources in the on-premise domain. Um, fine. Well done. Please hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. But for anyone who isn't aware, or who isn't sure, or doesn't understand how that works, let's jump into it and see how it does work. So if we go to my uh, server, so we have a file share. This is a, it's a server. It's uh, It happens to be a server called CM1, Config Manager 1, and uh, it's hosting a few file a couple of file shares. It's got finance and marketing, and so the finance share is called finance, and it's shared to, um, it's shared to finance and marketing. Finance have modify and marketing have read. Read is inherited, as you can see from the grayed out arrows. Arrows, uh, they are tick marks. So, um, and and the opposite is true for marketing. And in each of these, we have a little file. So it says file in marketing, and as you can imagine, it says file in finance in the finance share. So a very simple setup, nothing too difficult for us to understand here. It's a file share in an on-premise domain. Let me just check the domain of this computer. We'll jump into PowerShell and take a look at uh, ipconfig, and it didn't show us anything at all. Um, ipconfig, you can see it's a part of the uh, it's part of the Contoso domain, corp.contoso.com. I'm sure there's a better way to check which domain you are part of. Um, but there you go, it's it's part of that domain. So if we head over to our client, this client, as you will uh, see in a second, is um, not joined to the on-premise domain. So if we do tsreg cmd, Slash status. I tapped that blind because it's not caught up with me yet. Status is the is the correct way to type that. So dsreg cmd space slash status, and if you scroll up to the top, you can see this device state of this device is Azure AD joined, and it is uh, not enterprise joined and not domain joined. The name is um, it's autopilot demo, but that's irrelevant for this, trust me. So as you can see, it's it's joined to Azure AD only. So, those of you who thought it's not possible to access corporate resources using an Azure AD only device, let's see. So we'll head over to a file explorer and open up uh, CM1, it's file shares, it happens to be the, um, the share name that I've chosen, so we'll choose file shares. There's a nice long delay here. Let's see what's going on. It's taking a little while. All right, so that has let me in to the file share. Now, I actually didn't expect that. I think this could be a result of me testing this earlier on. What I expected to happen was when I clicked on that file share and chose enter, I expected it to ask me to authenticate by typing in my username and password. Uh, rather than just letting me straight in, which is uh, which is odd. Uh, it, as I say, it may be a part of me having tested just before this video to to, to make sure I wasn't going to lie to you. Um, 
Let's try it again then with a different user, a fresh user who's never logged into this machine. You'll see that login for the first time, get to the same file share. This user is a, is a marketing user rather than the finance user. So we'll be able to see that um, and just see it for, for a second time. And if this user gets logged in straight away without typing their password, um, then that'll be interesting. Let's try it. So I'm going to log off from here. Sign out in the new fancy modern terminology. And this user is called Jimmy. So we'll log in as him. Okay, so we are logged in. So let's head over to uh, the desktop and then just try and get to that share that we were talking about which is uh, cm1 file shares straight in um okay let's just, just verify who i am for my own sanity <clears throat> well i'm clearly running as jimmy jester but let's just confirm it with that corp slash Jimmy Jester and then just to finally confirm that I haven't switched machine or something whilst we've been watching this it still is this um it still is this Azure AD, AD joint computer well I you know I expected it to be asking me to confirm who I was but that that essentially single signed me on to the file share without any additional messages or prompts or anything like that uh, which is brilliant so just to confirm you don't need to join your computers to your on-premise domain in order to access on-premise file shares. Hopefully that's convinced you. If it hasn't, please leave a comment and let me know why. Or if you're just happy to move on with your life, just hit the like button and subscribe and then move on. I'll see you next time.